Larson and Tubro and DRDO have signed a contract for realization of two air independent propulsion system modules for Scorpion class submarines of the Indian Navy. The manufacturing integration and factory acceptance trials of the modules will be undertaken in LNT's heavy engineering complex and will be supplied for integration into the AIP plug that will be retrofitted into the first Scorpion submarine. This project would pave the way for more orders of AIP systems for the remaining five Scorpion class submarines in the coming years, and could also open up possible export opportunities to other countries that operate Scorpion class submarines. US firm General Electric has announced that it has signed a memorandum of understanding with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to produce F-414 fighter jet engines for Tejas Mark II fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. General Electric also said that it is still working with the US government to receive the necessary export authorization for the deal. India is also keen on reaching an agreement for the joint development of a 120 kN high thrust engine for the AMCA program. General Electric also said that it will continue to collaborate with Indian government on the AMCA Mark II engine program. Hindustan Aeronautics has started sourcing the necessary materials for Tejas Mark II production. However, it will take a few more months before these materials are handed over to HAL. The assembly of the Tejas Mark II is scheduled to commence by the end of 2024, and the initial assembly of the first aircraft will take around nine months, as it involves meticulous attention to detail and adherence to stringent manufacturing standards. Based on the current schedule, the rollout will happen in September 2025, and the first flight in late 2026. Larsen and Tubro has unveiled a mystery UAV concept at the Paris Air Show, that appears to be based on the Gyrotrack platform and employs hybrid technology, and features helicopter-like precision hovering, the ability to fly backward, and vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. It will have the ability to capture high-quality aerial imagery from vantage points for surveillance operations, that are typically inaccessible to ground personnel. The Indian Air Force has invited bids from Indian private sector companies to participate in the development of swarm drones, that are capable of automatically detecting foreign object debris on runways of various types and sizes, including personal belongings, tools, aircraft components or any foreign objects, that can potentially cause damage to aircraft or ground personnel. The Pentagon has said, that India and the US are set to begin negotiations on two transformational deals, that includes the Reciprocal Defense Procurement Agreement, which will allow Indian businesses to service US Department of Defense procurement contracts, and allow US businesses to service Indian Ministry of Defense procurement contracts. The second deal is the security of supply arrangement, that will allow US Department of Defense to move Indian orders for American equipment to the front of the line. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated the Dhruv Integrated Simulator Complex at the Southern Naval Command in Kochi, that hosts state-of-the-art indigenously built simulators, which will provide real-time experience on navigation fleet operations and naval tactics, and will also be utilized for training personnel from friendly nations. Oh,